what is up we are back with an, another pickup and this time i actually have packages that i got recently so um before we get to this i'm just about ready for the room tour for the next month so i can't wait and we got mike over here which actually he did a nice pickup recently so definitely check out I'll put his video in the description once he's uh gets it posted. Yep. And once he lets me know, I'll add it so y'all can watch his video as well. But so yeah, we got the uh this little pickup right here. So it's all randomized up in here. So I can't wait to show this to y'all. Um curious. Bunch of little stuff that I went game hunting with over the last week. Bunch of empty cases, which I'll get to that point in the pickup as well. So now, let's just get to the pickup. Alright, so first, I'm going to talk about this stack right here, which is all the empty cases. You're wondering why I got, why I have so many. So when I'm hunting at Goodwill, when I look through the uh, games and stuff, I do see a lot of empty cases. So do I. So it's, so when you go to the register, basically tell them that you you found a lot of uh, games with no, uh, like, with cases, games with, no cases with no games in them, right. but you still want the case. It's a 50, 50 chance that you'll get them for free, which I usually do. I like that. Kind of like in that last video when I uh, mentioned about the Kirby game. Oh, that was such a That's great That's a $30 find. case just by itself with no game. That's such a great find. So it's a free case that I got for $30. Well, for, you know, a $30 case for free. All I gotta do is find the game now. So just keep an eye out for empty cases when game hunting anywhere, I guess. And the important thing is it never hurts to ask. Because all they can do is tell you no. True. I mean, think about how many free cases we got through you and you teaching me that little secret. Over a hundred. <laughs> I, I think between, well, the what I found within the last year. Oh, God, yes. Probably like over 200 empty cases. Shit. <laughs> it stacks up. Let's see what we got. Yeah, go stack. ahead. This is something I'm very familiar with. Ghost Recon Shadow War for three, three DS. And if you're familiar with Ghost Recon, it's a fantastic, fantastic franchise, in my opinion. I love it because it's kind of like squad-based, and it's also got that element of espionage, so it's just right. Then you also have Daxter. Which is basically, I think, before he met Jack? I guess so. Or, uh, I'm guessing, I know I have the actual game at home. Oh, now this is something I'm very familiar with. Kingdom Hearts. I am so happy. First one sleep, and they actually came with skins up in there for the uh, PSP. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is cool. Interesting little skins for your PSP. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I definitely want to play this again now. Then you have another game I'm very familiar with. I have this on PS5. Ah. Call of Duty World War II. This is one of the shortest games in the franchise, but it's a lot more intense because the weaponry is, of course, period correct. So that makes it interesting. So you this know. next game I've heard really good things about. I've heard of this case. I've never played this game either, but... Transformers War for Cybertron. I believe it takes place before they even went to Earth. Like that whole entire battle system all on Cybertron. I heard it's really good though. You have... Actually, I had to scrap that today. <laughs> really? Yeah. You have Ford Mustang Racing. You can never go wrong with Mustangs. I <laughs> mean, one of the best cars ever made, in my opinion. If I had a, one classic car I could buy, it would be a 67 Fastback. 
or a 68 convertible. And you, ha. Huh. <laughs> Light Knight Chronicles International Edition. I have this game, and you do too, right? I just can't find my disc. Well, we have. Well, the first one, though. We have to take care of that. So, this But the actually, second game actually is playable with the first game in it. Yeah. So, I mean, I still can play it. The This game is a very, very, very deep RPG. I absolutely love this game. And that's something we're going to work on together. If we I can, hope. yeah. Hopefully. Then you have Overlord, which was fun. a fun game. It was a lot of fun. And, um... <laughs> Oh, something I really want. I wish you could find this. We'll find the game. The Target Limited Edition Sean White Snowboarding. Those of you who know me know that I absolutely love snowboarding. I love SSX, SSX Tricky, Cool Borders. Cool Borders will be mine. I love Cool Borders. And then there are two great gems, in my opinion. Hey, don't forget Winter Olympics on NES. Oh, that's true. Yes. <laughs> Three great gems. That's one. The other one that's kind of a hidden gem is Amped. Ah. Which was actually promoted by Mountain Dew. Okay. On the original Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. And the other one is a real hard to find game, in my opinion. 1080 mm. on 64. The controls are so hard because the controls are so weird. But it's a lot of fun. And then you have one of my other favorite games on PS2, Van Helsing. I love this game. Great movie. Great movie and great game and pretty hard levels, some of them. So in this next stack, we have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Nice. We have the Attitude Era of the Royal Rumble matches. What? Project Gotham Racing 2. Oh, hell yeah. All-Star Cheer Squad. That was half price. So two bucks. Why not? Yeah. Sonic Colors Ultimate. Ooh. You found that at Goodwill? No, or... at Walmart. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, dude. Medal of Honor Limited. But it's not for the actual 360. It's still Medal of Honor. But... <laughs> That's not the right one. It's still fun. Depending on which one it is. Oh, yeah. Beast Quest. I that actually have this. I, I actually have this on PS4. Yeah. So when I saw the book, I'm like, interesting. And we found out it is connected, right? Yes, it is connected. Guinness World Record 2016. Gamer Edition. Yeah. Tomb Raider Anniversary. And this next one, this is interesting. I thought they would, I'd never see a guide ever again. Hogwarts Legacy Game Guide. <laughs> yes. That is cool. That is really awesome. Okay, we gotta get that knife underneath here. Oh, never oh mind. <laughs> you can open that one up or not. Yay. Open that one. The big box up. Well, it's in my bag. Okay. Yeah, at least they put it in a case. That, okay. That works. Barbie and uh, the Little Mermaid. And with it, their manuals. Say no more. I was going for the Little Mermaid one, so that's why. Uh oh. That's why we have video editing. No matter. It's magical. Never happened. Still worth it. This is kind of cool. Uh huh. And now we got the big box of stuff. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> it was just. Jim assumes sock works. <laughs> I guess that's a 3K version of Clockwork Orange. I guess it's a sock work. It looks like a 
PC game. It does. <laughs> So we have oh, this nice steel book for Riptide. Ah, oh, nice. We have XCOM 2. Hard as hell. XCOM is a hell of a series. It's CIP too. Very nice. Yeah, we're owned it. We did get it. <laughs> Congratulations, you're being owned. We have a new. My Sims Kingdom on Wii. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, could be. Hannah Montana Spotlight World Tour. Yeah, it's strange. I know that was one of the games I got rid of, but yeah, that will never be played. <laughs> now this, I think I actually know the backstory on this. The super truck racing. I know, like, they did an episode of Top Gear, like the UK Top Gear, with Jeremy Clarkson did it, and they actually raced, like, heavy equipment trucks on one of the tarmacs. Like, they had catering trucks, they had a fire truck, a huge lorry, all kinds of stuff. I wonder if that was the inspiration from it. Whoa. Where the hell did you find these? I always thought I know how to search. <laughs> you do? For PlayStation 2, Shark Bite, the official cheat codes of Splinter Cell. Leaving no trace behind is and no option. And when you actually look up a game list for PlayStation 2, these are actually listed in this category. Wow. Especially this one right here. Oh, GT. Vice City Ultimate Codes. Okay. I remember me and my buddy doing that a long time ago. I just want to know how the hell you found this. You were right. I was going to be blown away. Wow. Is that the one that you think I'm going to be surprised about? Crimson Skies. Great game. Destiny 2 for PC. Shame it on PS4. <laughs> okay, well, this is definitely not in the right case, but. Uh. So we got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone inside a Treasure Planet case. Nice. Okay. This is a. Splinter Cell Ooh. game. An actual game on the empty table. Ooh. I might put one of the other games in there. So this actually is official. That's cool. I like that. This is Splinter Cell Conviction inside. It looks like a. Uh, Two of them. That's cool. Inside, like a. Almost like a Samsung's Hitman type case. I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's textured. Feel that. It's textured. Oh, that's what cool. game is that one? That's uh, Splinter Cell Conviction. But this is really cool. The game in it? Yeah. This it is. is. That's cool. Gears of War 2, the EBA Steelbook Edition. What game is actually in there? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. So I have Gears 2, but now I have the Steelbook. You do now? That's okay, now I do. Congratulations. We have Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue. Nickelodeon game. I have no idea. <laughs> Green Dog. The Beach Surfer Dude. Yeah, man. Green Dog like, Shred. I think, I think the game was actually Mrs. Pac Man. <gasps> it, <laughs> it is! <laughs> yeah. Mrs. So, Pac-Man! So now I have is, another empty case for... Mrs. Pac-Man is masquerading as a surfer dude! So I gotta find that game. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Lego Batman 2? Okay. Triple score, Baseball. three games in one. Oh. 
Okay. NFL core back in 95, 96. Well, and then we got... Two loose discs. Yeah. Get rid of this here. Put that here. Then we got Kill Switch. Forsaken. Simpson skateboarding. That looks like something I gotta borrow. Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventure. Castlevania Judgment. Pac Man World Rally. Seek and Destroy. And something I haven't played in a long time. Oh, uh, long. Air Combat. Oh. I love that. Then you also have Armorines Project Swarm, which I think is the same one that we had on the Saturn? Worms? That's Remember the Japanese Saturn? Yeah. Game? Uh, is that the same one? Who knows? One way to find out. But one thing I can say is it's not a bug's life. It could be oh. fun. The movie was great. MGS5, Ground Zeroes, on PS3. Great, great, great Yeah, the game. only Metal Gear Solid I owned was Sons of Liberty. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Spyro! I love Spyro. And I'm very happy about these two. Puzzle Kingdoms. That might be interesting. That looks like a lot of fun. Oh, that would be perfect for the new system. And, and Bust a Move 4. Bust a Move 4. I'm definitely going to wear that one. So, yeah, that's everything for this lot. I just. It gets better and better. <laughs> well, yeah. until then, I'll. Like I said, I'm preparing for the room tour. My kitchen's just about finished, so I can move the crap out my game room so I can get prepared. And hopefully, my next video will be that room tour for y'all guys. So I know y'all will be excited on seeing it. And I know you plan on doing one eventually. I do. It might have to wait yeah. towards the end of the year, but that's my not... My room tour was originally scheduled for April, but something has come up. It looks like I'm going to have to have neck surgery in the meantime. I'm really freaked out about that. Stressed out. So any prayers y'all can give me, I will definitely take them. And I want to do a room tour. So Scott and I are actually organizing stuff correctly again. So it's going to be fun to see the new additions to what we had before. And see how many more consoles we found. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, I have no idea what else we're going to see. And to then, just keep on gaming, guys. And don't forget, like, subscribe, do what you got to do. Leave some nice comments for us, and we'll see you in the next video. Yep. Take Ciao. care.